Hello, my name is Raphael and this is Three Minutes with Ingber and Weinberg. Today I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about liens. As you know, the DWC recently issued emergency notices with respect to hearings, which include lien conferences and lien trials. With respect to those lien conferences and lien trials, all of those hearing dates are now continued until further notice from the DWC. That said, however, we might be in a good position to consider settlement of some liens that might be in your file, particularly medical bills, in that some of these medical providers that we know of uh, could be strapped for cash and they might be in a position to accept less than what they would normally accept um, when negotiating liens. However, let's remember that we need to start off at the fee schedule. That's the start point in any lien discussion with medical providers. The fee schedule is the start point. Then we factor in whether the claim is admitted, whether the claim is denied, whether uh, MPN applies, uh, etc. Um, so if we factor in those facts where we could be in a really good position to resolve medical liens at this point for a highly discounted rate um, given the recent lockdown. Uh, I will remind you that uh, Labor Code 5402C will be the Labor Code section that a lot of medical providers will cite as a reason for consideration, which is true. But we need to remember that also the case facts are applicable when considering lien settlements. So if, uh, so if the uh, MPN is an applicable issue, that discounts that uh, uh, lien considerably. If it's a denied case and the dates of service of that medical provider come in after the, the uh, denial date, clearly then there is no consideration that's due. That said, um, it might be uh, good to remember to get your bill reviewed first, so you'll have a start point with respect to the fee schedule, consider the cases, the case facts, and then you'll be in a much better position to negotiate those medical liens at this point. It, is my, it has been my recent experience that um, medical providers and lien reps for those providers will and are accepting settlements that are less than what they would normally take in normal situations. So uh, thank you for your time, be safe and be well.